Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you're just joining us, Charlemagne gave Donkey the day to who? Uh, Donkey of the day went to a guy named Edwin Pedroza. Edwin uh, actually stabbed a man to death in New York City because the man held a door for him. The man's name is Jay Nunez. Jay Nunez held a door for him, and he didn't say thank you. Edwin didn't say thank you back, so they ended up in an altercation that led to uh, Jay Nunez being stabbed to death. So the question is 800-585-1051. Are you expected, uh, I guess, a thank you? Yeah, like I said during Donkey of the Day, man, my grandmother always taught me manners will take you where money won't, you know what I mean? So when I walk in the room, I speak to everybody, I hold doors for people, but I'm not expecting anything in return because sometimes people don't speak back. You're right. You know, sometimes people don't say thank you, but I, it never bothers me because I'm not doing it for any other reason than that's who I am as a person. I well, think it, it's it, rude. It, I would never not say thank you to somebody who does a service for me like opening the door. So that's just how I was raised and I expect other people to do the same, but I don't do it because I'm like, let me hold this door so they can thank me. It's a reaction and then I would expect somebody to say why are you Thank expecting you. anything when you do a good deed? I think people that expect things from doing good deeds aren't really good people. I don't think it's money or anything like that. I think it's just politeness. Well, just, well, just anything. Like, it's you like, know, I, I say thank you, so I think that other people have manners. I, I'll be honest. I, I feel like, and this is, is me growing up, I feel like sometimes a lot of people feel entitled. Like, I'm supposed to hold the door for you. Or I'm supposed to do this for you. I'm supposed to do that for you. And I don't like that. But isn't like it a that. sense of entitlement like to expect to thank you back? No. Yes, I mean, it's not the end of the world if someone doesn't do it, but I would think it's rude not to. It's, no. a, it's a sense of entitlement to expect somebody to say thank you just because you do something good for them. And by the way, like I said, if you're really that type of person, if you're really a good person and this is genuine from the heart, you're not expecting any of that anyway. You're just I just doing think it it's that's a reflex. If you see somebody come in, they're holding you something, you, you open the door. It's a reflex to open the door. But then if they just don't even acknowledge that you did something, I think that's weird. I don't. I don't. I, I, th I, don't, I, think I don't, don't even care. I think it's very, very weird. And I, I don't even think about times, it. I feel like I would feel entitled, weird if I didn't like I'm say supposed it. to hold the door for you. But yeah, if somebody holds the door for you, yeah, I, I expect it. Yeah, thank you. I, it's not like I want to tip. You don't have to tip me for opening the door. But it's just common courtesy. It's common politeness. And you know what? You know what else I, I noticed? Like you know, I walk in the room and I speak to everybody. I shake everybody's hand. I give everybody a pound. Like after COVID, some people be like. Ugh, I don't want to just shake a random hand or give you a pound. And, and I fist and, and, everybody, pause. And, well, but even with that, some people don't want to do that. <laughs> some people don't even want to do that. And <laughs> I'm, I'm like, oh, I don't take that personal. I just understand, like, oh, I, I understand the climate that we're in. No, I, I fist everybody. I had never been know. a toucher like that, even before COVID. It sounds COVID. so crazy me saying fist, but you know what I mean. P give everybody a pound. I don't open up my hand. By the way, people don't, people don't forget that kind of stuff, though. There's people that walk up to you and be like, Man, you know, I remember when you walked in the room and said hi to everybody, blah, blah, blah. I have interns all the time that, that say that up here. And they, they remember when you didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they remember when you didn't. Oh, I don't talk to that person because that person didn't know ever have never spoken to me. Let's go to the phone lines. Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Imani hey, from Jersey. Hey, Imani, Imani from Jersey. Morning. Talk to us. What, what's your thoughts on, on, the, on the holding the door and, and, and doing a service with somebody? For me, I feel like, first of all, I'm in the service industry, so that's one. But anything that isn't expected, like the bless you when you, when you, the thank you when you sneeze, or the thank you should be a part of you holding the door, anything that isn't expected to be done, those are the things I think deserve thank yous the most. Yeah. Yeah, I expect it. And, and when people don't say it, you're from New Jersey, so I'm sure if you hold the door for somebody, you'll say, and they don't say anything, you'll be like, you're welcome. I like how she said that, yeah, though. It deserves it. You're right. It deserves. Friend, as we were listening to you guys this morning, was like, I do that. So I done passed it down already. Generation you right. says, you're welcome when people <laughs> don't say thank you when he's holding the door for them. Yeah, you're yeah. welcome. You know, I see. I like that she used the word deserve. When you do something like that, it deserves a thank you. It deserves, but if you don't get one, it's not expected. I'm Hello. not expecting it. Hello, who's this? Yes, we deserve a good life. Hello? Yo, yo, David. This is David Cattell. What's up? What's up? Where you calling from? Hey, man, call from 757. You already know, man. I knew you were having chat. Virginia, what's up? I was out there this weekend. What's going on? Talk to us. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, check it out, man. Hey, man, I had to say, you do not need to thank you, man. Because, look, man, you know, what you do in secret is blessed. And awarded by God. That's right. Openly. That's right. If you do it in secret, it's blessed like that. So, man, don't, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about uh, asking for a thank you, man. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, I do it all the time. I get pissed when I open the door for a lady and she just walk right through and don't say thank you. But you know what? At the end of the day, I'm being rewarded by God. Wait, so, so I'm confused, but you get pissed even though you're rewarded by God. 
Because that sounds like a contradiction. <laughs> I get, I get, I get what you're saying. You are, you are, you're getting you're, pissed. You, it feels like you are contradicting yourself a little bit, but I get what you're saying. But <laughs> but, I, but I also see the difference too. Like you, you see the difference between the South and in 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 New York. That's right. Northern, right. You, you definitely see the difference. But also, and I hate to throw race in it, but you know I kind of learned this from my parents, right? So when, when when growing up as a kid, and my parents would hold the door for somebody. Usually it'd be a Caucasian person and they don't say thank you. That's where my parents would be, usually be like, you're welcome. Like it almost felt like they're entitled, like I was supposed to hold the door for you. And that's where I think it comes from, honestly. I don't even say you're welcome. I don't care. Like if I hold the door for somebody and they walk through and don't say thank you, I'm not even thinking about it. I guess what the. What so the, you don't what, say you're welcome when someone says thank you? He, it, it, he, he know that's not what she heard. Yes, you said, didn't he just envy, say, I don't even say you're all welcome? All morning long, we've been saying if somebody doesn't say thank you, they say you're welcome. You're welcome. To, be, to, to let them know, hey. You're being rude. I, exactly. I did not, nobody said nothing about when somebody say thank you, you don't say you're welcome. Ain't nothing, nobody said that. And if it's a turning, one of them turning things, and, and I held and let you go first, and you don't say and that. And then you're a liar. I'm jumping in with but you. No, you, you do that anyway. You do that for fun. I'm jumping in there you. With do you. that for fun. You're a liar. You do that to me for fun, okay? You can't wait to see me going through that little turning door, okay? And then and sometimes MB will jump in there with me and be behind me, and he starts saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm like, what? 585 1051. When you're holding the door for somebody, they don't say thank you. Do you expect a thank you? By the way, that goes with that whole you're welcome thing y'all keep saying. Like, if you open the door for somebody and the person doesn't say thank you and then you say you're welcome, that's kind of the same thing as saying, hey, why don't you say thank you? Which led to this altercation, which led to this incident. Uh, that's never happened to me. I just say you're welcome and keep moving. Yeah, I just say I've you're welcome and keep moving. I've never stabbed anyone and had a whole altercation over it. Oh, my God. It. I know it's the same thing. <laughs> what are you, it's not... Hello, who's this? You're welcome. This is Tanisha from VA, Hampton Road. Hampton Road, seven five seven. Yes. Now, now you walking in the store and you and you decide to hold open one of these doors for somebody and they don't say nothing. What you doing? I'm letting the door go if they don't say thank you. Oh, you gonna let the door slam right in their face? Slam on them. Yes, because I say thank you when I'm in traffic. Someone lets me merge in front of them. You do the little wave, like, thank you. I do that, too. So it's common courtesy. And if people can't say thank you, then they don't deserve the common courtesy. But you know you can't expect you from other people, man. And and, and sometimes when you don't get you from other people, you know, like, it just is what it is. It's common courtesy, so I'm going to let the door go. <laughs> <laughs> That's just rude. Well, then they're even... I'm not saying thank you. And how do you let the door go before? Because if you're holding the door and they don't say thank so you, they already got to get through. You before. Know, slam on the back of them. You <laughs> them in the foot. They, it's hitting those heels. <laughs> I do that too, though. I do. That. I know exactly what you was talking about when you said it. Because I do the same exact thing. You just let it go. And they hit them right in the back of the back in the back of the ass. Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Bianca. Bianca, where are you calling from? I'm calling from the Bronx right now. Oh, oh boy. Now, somebody walk in that door, you hold that door for somebody, and they don't say thank you. What is the BX doing? Listen, that's a problem. Like, if you can't give a person a common courtesy <laughs> of saying thank you when they hold the door for you, then you are a trash human being. Bottom line. But we know, but, but we know this, though. That's my point. It's like, if you're, if you're a good person, you got to just be cool with being a good person because everybody not going to do, do you the way you would do somebody else. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, you're not going to throw off my whole day by not saying thank you, but yeah, I am going to look at you and, and mm -hmm. wonder what's wrong with you because who does that? And, and I will say, say and, jelly. and I will you say, and this, go together. <laughs> in this day and age, you know, sometimes people aren't paying attention. They're on their phone, they're doing things, and you say you're welcome. They're like, oh, I'm sorry, thank yeah, that's, you. That's different. Yeah, that's and you're different. like, oh, I'm sorry, thank that's you. It could be just know, an oversight. You know when a person is paying attention. You know, and they mm -hmm. just walk through the door like you owe them that, and they don't say See? thank you. It's like, what? What's wrong with you? Exactly. Thank, well, uh, thank you, BX. I'm, I'm gonna tell, I'm, you're welcome. I'm going to tell you how this altercation started once again. They held the door. I'll tell you, that'll be the moral of the story. Go ahead. Hello, who's this? It's Malloy from Charleston, South Carolina. 843. Oh, boy. I see how this is going to go. So you walk, somebody walking through the door, you hold the door for them, they keep it moving, don't say nothing. Man, I feel just like Charlamagne. My grandma taught me that respect takes us further than money. And I tell you what, if you hold the door for a pretty young lady with a nice boonkey, that's the payoff. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> I don't, I do not do this for nobody's reaction at all. Sometimes I even laugh. You got a, 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 a type of attitude where, you know, like, they feel like I'm supposed to do it. But really, no, I do it because it makes me feel good, man. And then, because, hey, when that, hey, when that girl with the big bonky walk by, you say, boy, that girl fat up, ain't he? Man, I just smile, man. You know what I'm saying? Make you feel good. Make you feel good. That's, that's the payoff right there. No, my. So, what, so what do you do? What, what do you do? With, like, say somebody with Charlemagne, th- th- you know, thick thighs over there. He come through. Man, and shut up, man. What's nah, wrong with you? Nah, what I, what I do is I'll go in first, and I just kind of hold the door and let him come in behind me, but he don't walk in before me. No, 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 no. no. So it depends. Okay. No, it depends. It depends. All right. Thank you, brother. What's the more of the story, yo? I mean, the moral of the story is, man, you just can't expect things from people. You can't expect you from from other people. And I'm not going to take it personal, you know, if if, if somebody doesn't say thank you. Because I'm not holding the door for them because I want to thank you. I'm holding the door for them because I'm a nice person. 